night, even song on January the 15th commemorates a priest and a bishop, Richard Benson and Charles Gore. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Remaining standing, let us sing together the hymn to light, O oh, gracious light.
A reading from the first book of Kings. At the place he came to a cave and spent the night there. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, What are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it away. He said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong that it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a sound of sheer silence. The word of the Lord. Let us all stand and sing a paraphrase of the Song of Mary, as found in your bulletins. I have made, wait, <laughs> a reading from the Gospel of John. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the Lord. They were yours, and you gave them to me. And they have kept your word. Now that they know everything you have given me is from you, for the words that you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them, and I know in truth that it came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine is yours, yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in this world, but they are in the world. And I am coming to you, Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
Let us stand and sing together a paraphrase of the Song of Simeon. Richard Moe Benson and Charles Gore, the grace to lead a revival of monastic life. Grant us also the resolve to serve you faithfully in contemplation and prayer, ministering to the world that you have made through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. 
give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Richard Benson and Charles Gore, re-establishing in England the monastic life. They established uh, monastic communities in England. Um, and one or two, of, I think the one that Richard Benson founded also made his way over to the United States. Really since uh, probably about 100 or 200 years after uh, Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus' life, men and women went out into the desert seeking this kind of life to be alone with God in community with others. Um, of course, when Henry VIII came around and established the Church of England, and the Catholic Church, um, unfortunately, uh, was taking, I think, a bit too much of its uh, uh, share of the finances that were given to it, he abolished all the monasteries in England. Uh, in Europe, that didn't happen. Um, but now, they, they do still exist. And if you go to the Episcopal Church website, the main website, you can click on an area where it will show you all this, the Episcopal religious communities that are either monastic or, or convents. And there are literally about, I would say, 30 to 40 within the United States that are active. They have members. Uh, they are always seeking new members. Not, not everyone is called to this, but they do some wonderful work um, in their communities on behalf of our Lord Jesus Christ. So they do still exist. Our uh, anthem tonight is by Charles Wesley. It is called Love of One Another.
Let us stand. At this point, your intercessions, thanksgivings are invited either out loud or in the silence of your hearts. This week and in the months ahead, we especially lift up to you, the Carver family, as they grieve the loss of their daughter, Gabby. Comfort them with your holy presence. May they rest in your arms. In your most holy name we pray. Amen. And together, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Remaining standing, let us sing the hymn as found in your bulletins. Yours are the eyes through which he looks compassion on this world. 
Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands through which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands. Yours are the feet. Yours are the eyes. You are his body. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.